Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? I want to start off with this, CERNs. You know, I made a video last week about a web page that I put up, which I think is still right here. And I said BS alert at the beginning, mainly because I couldn't find anything on it other than what people were saying. Now, today, uh, I find some new information, which in a point is this page here is breaking, in my opinion. Everyone needs to know this. And I put the main part of the article right here. I did that for a reason, so you can see it for yourself. Heavy irons, meaning that they're they travel faster for whatever reason, and they broke the speed to give them one T or PE volts, folks. You know, I showed y'all this a long time ago. Or I made this for everyone to see. I did. Do you understand what this is? What this is is the Earth. Okay. This is the Sun. And this is the solar activity that we get from the Sun, which generally is reflected off into one of these in the front. And then the energy comes in this way. See, comes in this way. <laughs> but with CERN being on the side of the Earth, like right here, with that much power, not thinking about anything else going with it, but just CERN. But now let's add in the factor of Harp, the Russian woodpecker and the russian they got several different kinds and so does the united states in different areas not just in alaska china has one japan has one several other countries has it too and there is discussion of all of them being linked all of those facilities are being linked to cern now, they had a problem, they say, and they had a burnout with that as well. Well, now, folks, what the hell are they trying to do to us? Now, I, I'm being serious. Uh, now, we, we saw the motion picture, uh, the, the, the movie, the series that come out, and they're talking about traveling in time. We've already figured out that that's what they're really trying to do. And there's no doubt about that now, is there? No, there ain't no doubt. There's no doubt at all of what we've already read, what we've already seen through the page that I have at the top. It's always here for you to go look. That's the CERN feed with all the CERN links where you can go there see stuff that you want to see and see what's going on. Uh, also got a link to the main website, the whole nine yards, where you can go there every day if you want. Okay. But you know, they've been interested in time travel and distance for a long time. And you say, how do I know that? Well, let me show you a photo. Has any of y'all seen this particular photo? Y'all know what this is? This is a very old photo. Does this to you look as if it may have something to do with Stargate? Remember the movie Stargate? Do y'all? Sure you do. All of you remember. 
There's no joke in that. I mean, we all seen the movie, right? Or the clip. Let's see if we can see anything. See, even in here, it looks almost identical to what they showed on the movie. It's even got writing in it. See it? Does it turn inside of each other as well? You see my point, folks? Is that what CERNs is? As one great big circle? So they can bring in something humongous instead of a person? <clears throat> Did they get tired of playing with this little toy? Or little size? And so they made a great big one. We all know CERNs is a 17 mile uh, circle. Now, what are they trying to really do? Are they trying to travel in time? Better yet, have they already traveled in time? Do we know for sure? You know, <coughs> when I put up, nope, not that page. When I put up this page about the 100,000 TEV votes, there's a story on here. We're going to open. Let's give it a second to open. That's kind of long. But in that particular site, there's a woman and a guy. I, you can't really make head or tails out of who's what. You only go by the names, and it, sometimes you may be wrong with the names. But my point of it is, is they call the person in charge mother and father. Now, I can't confirm nor deny because I don't know. Because I denied the 100, 100 uh, the uh, 100 TEV, which is PEV. When it reaches over a thousand, that is a, an extraordinary amount of power, folks. Now, on this particular page, on this particular page, this right here, I just added. I added a link. I took the BS alert out, which I forgot to take that out. I got to take it out. But it did lead to question mark. Mainly because I got two PDF files explaining about that. Okay. And here's the other one. But they're talking about the past. They're not talking about the actual future. But now, CERN in their little episode here this is actually CERN talking it really is we're going to go to the page which is right here why the hell are those so big I didn't make them that big they're supposed to be that size oh well when you open this up this takes you to the page and if you look real close, see, home.cern slash whatever the page name, okay? This is the actual CERN's page. Now let's come down here a little bit. Right here is what was stated that's on my page. Now, why am I showing you this? prove exactly <clears throat> what it states. Now it's talking about iron material particles that they can accelerate to uh, what's the actual speed? I think it's 1,024 
1024, uh, 1024, or something to that effect. It states it on here somewhere. But folks, this article here is a long article of someone that says they're a scientist there, and they're breaking international law by telling us anything about it. Could be, could be true, could be a whole total bullshit lie. Okay? Someone trying to make a dollar. I don't know. That's the reason why I call bullshit alert. Because I ain't sure. Now, if anyone knows this person firsthand and has any information, contact me. That'd be a great thing. But I don't think you do. Because I think it's just bullshit story. And here's the story where these guys were talking about the hundred, uh, I mean, a thousand TEV, which is one dot over is T, uh, PE votes. I can't even say it, but you know what I mean. We're talking about extreme. Extreme power, folks. It makes Hart look like a toy. And Hart has got bunches of power. Radio signal, frequency wave, waves, power. Extreme power. And this makes Hart look small. People, this is the biggest weapon in the world. Let's see. I got something else I want to show you. All right. This is Professor Dean. And he's talking about Russia bombs Turkey. And he does a good job. He, and he provides you the links, which are right here. You can click on each link. And he does a great demonstration and explaining it to you. But I'm going to add a little twist to this. Okay, what if since CERN is over there amongst in the middle of all of this, if they're not actually causing some of these problems? To create massive conflict with people. We already suspect earthquakes, it's severe weather. We know that it took down at least one plane. We know that for a fact. When CERN had its first little crank up and it had a problem, an issue, plane come down. Now, there's a photo out there from the CERN's live camera that they have that crosses out over water that a fountain uh, a geyser popped out into the ground it's not a live feed you know, all it was was a photo that I saw now that might have been a live feed of that somewhere does that have anything to do with power and there's some people also out there says that CERN had a meltdown and cut a hole in the side. Well, folks, I can't confirm none of that. I can't confirm it. I'm not going to tell you it's true. I, I'm not. I ain't going to. I'm just telling you what I've heard. And the reason why I'm not going to tell you that it's true is because I don't believe that it's true. I don't believe that story. Mainly because the person that was doing the interviewing, I don't think he believed it himself. He's talking. I don't believe he believed it all either. Now, that's just my opinion. Okay? I'm not going off on these people. I know we're all interested in this. But I also know that none of us out here 
none of us have the knowledge of what's going on, sir, 100%. Uh, we just not. Now, this hundred or this uh, one uh, PE vote is just astronomical. And they come out and admitted it, which this blows my damn mind about how much power they're actually shooting through this machine. Folks, just imagine, instead of this being a collider, okay, this is inside that collider, and they get the power up to a point to where The creation of the world is created and they hit the right voltage. All right, you listening now? They got this inside this machine and they create the same atmosphere inside. Got something else I want to say as well. Y'all remember the movie? What was the damn name? The Men in Black. Y'all remember that, right? Don't you? Remember the first one where they were looking for this one little thing that was around the cat's neck and it was a planet inside of a little glass tube? Do you remember that? They were hiding it from some evil force or whatever. Do you remember? What if we was to create a wormhole and create something like that inside of this machine? What if they've already done it? And some other planet that's far away is looking for it because it vanished out of thin air. And their technology is way greater than ours. Anything that they do with this machine is unknown, folks. And I'm going to say something else about physics. Physics is only correct if the formula is correct. They've already stated with the CERN's machine that they're going to have to write, rewrite some of the physics, mainly because they've learned new formulas for this machine. Was through, through through some of their experiments already. You can't go by just physics. <clears throat> you have to do the experiment. You have to know. Trust me, you do. Physics is only right if the formula is correct. They've been telling you for hundreds of years there's no such thing as free energy. How many of you out there know that that's all bullshit now? Straight up. And how is it, how easy is it to make H2O that we could have been using in vehicles for years now? Really, folks, really. This has gone beyond the point of no return. Do you see this? 
This is just a particle that you're seeing a photo of, which it could be total bullshit. Understand me. But if it's not, it looks as if it's trying to create a hole in the middle. A spinning motion. See? It looks as if it's getting hollow in the middle. Is that a creation of a wormhole? They're starting? Is it time travel? Folks, are we going to allow this to continue? What if they're all fired up? Heart, the woodpecker, all of Russia stuff, all of the United States stuff, all of China stuff, Japan's, uh, all the other countries that have one. I, I can't name them all. I know that there's hundreds of these machines now all over the country weather modification radio frequency high, <coughs> high powered machines to create and change and modify weather we all know that now it's been there for years but combine that with CERN and the power and have them all linked together and running at the same time. And we have a solar flare, massive solar flare, what it looks like here. And they got the gate open because they run it during the daytime when it's the most powerful. Oh, most people are awake. And they're facing the sun through the daylight hours. And they have a massive CME come in say a 5.6 CME or just a 4.5. Hell, I don't care. It ain't got to be that big. It weakens the shield enough on the outside. And we're weakening enough on the inside that it's drawing the shield in and creating a, a V vortex like you see here. See it? Now, what is it going to do when all of that stuff's going on at one time? Or we have an X-class flare, and it's traveling at it god-awful speeds, and it's here within seconds, and they're out there, and they're running that machine. All that power hits the Earth. Straight on. Massive tsunamis and earthquakes. That's what you're going to get. Because that's going to hit directly on the earth. Not through the north and the south pole, but in the side pole that ain't supposed to be there. Now, am I saying that's a fact? Nope, I'm not saying that's a fact. But I'm saying that's a damn good possibility that it could happen. And we got, where'd it go? Right here. Where'd it go? Right here. And then we got this war talks every day. Russia and Turkey. And we done heard this fruitcake that's up here. You see him up here? We done heard that fruitcake. Done say we're, we're back in. Uh, Italy. Folks, it's just my opinion. And, and I mean this. If there's any time in life that you've ever been prepared for anything, this might be the biggest time that you need to be prepared. Prepared for number one, a war. In other words, stock up on some food. I mean that. Because this ain't looking good. It really ain't looking good at all. You need to stock up on some food. You need to stock up on some ammo. And you need to stock up on some guns. If you got some. If you don't have any. 
to be able to protect yourself and your family because there is no one going to be able to do so once the war starts. And you will not know or know who you're fighting at no given time. You don't know if it's going to be Russian. You don't know if it's going to be China. You don't even know if it's going to be your own homeland security. And that's a fact. This is all about the New World Order agenda. Propaganda, horseshit, bullshit, straight up, right in your face. Who's who? Who the hell knows? Whose side are they really on? To get this close, let me strike you back. You strike me, I'm striking you back. I, and I'm not going on. I, I mean, that's the way it is. An eye for an eye, two for a two. I, I mean, that, that's just life. That's the way the propaganda rolls, ain't it? People make mistakes. They do. All the time. And this clown, and this one, and this one, in the last couple of weeks has made several and they continue to make some. If this escalates any more, folks, you know what's going to be. Everybody's already talking about it. Are we even going to make it to Christmas before it all hell breaks loose? Let's see. Wasn't it December when World War II started? Mm-hmm. Sure as hell was. How close are we to that now? Ain't it just around the corner? Sure as hell is. Are we going to be fighting in the United States? More than likely. Why? Well, ain't that what happened to Hitler when he got too big for his damn britches? They brought the war to him. You think about it, folks. Get ready. Not to say it's going to happen, but just be prepared. Have you plenty of water and some non perishable foods and some bullets and some guns from my cold, dead hands? Abolish corporate government for your freedoms. I damn well mean that. Oh, and before I go, I put up a new page today for all of you to see your freedoms. I know a lot of you have done seen this. This video's got close to a little over 150,000 views, I think. I don't remember exactly. I have to go look myself. I know it's been up a long time. It's a very good video. You need to see it to refresh your memory. Every one of these pages, I made a video earlier. I'm just reminding you it's here. Make sure you hit the link right here. Read more, it takes you to the page. I didn't put the titles in there just to read more. Help speed up the page some. All of these pages more than likely have videos on them to explain. You may see this one more than once. But I put it on this page because it's very important. And those of you that say he's a sellout and whatever, why would you talk about a dead man that way? And that's just straight up. The man had passion for his country. And I don't give a damn who you are, who you ain't, whether you like it or not. The man's dead right and dead on. So with that, this time for sure. From my cold dead hands, abolish corporate government. I damn well mean it. Much love to y'all. Y'all all have a great evening and a great day. Much love. Oh, and for the last time today, happy Thanksgiving. And I hope we have many, many more but it's not looking good.